Sue. 17 right here. Oh, I thought I wanted just listen to 17. No, I don't. Yes, I do. I always want to listen to 17. Oh, you crack me up. Hey, y'all. Oh, hi. Welcome back to our channel. Sorry, I was in the mood. So, <sighs> I'm sure you've heard this 8,000 times by now. Oh, wait. Cheers, y'all. Cheers, y'all. Welcome, Welcome back, back to our channel. channel. What she did. Uh, I'm pretty sure you've heard a thousand times by now. We saw Eric film yesterday. It was so good. It was, I was so excited to see him. Yes. He absolutely lived up to and exceeded my expectations. I tried to keep low expectations, not because I didn't think he would exceed them, but more mm. just, I was just ready for whatever the show was going to have mm. in store, essentially. Mm. Yeah. Uh, it was phenomenal. Um, that's why we sound a little, and look a little wrecked today um pardon our appearance and our existence and our aura we are hopefully still projecting some pretty good positive vibes like just through our i mean we were excited we're still death. excited to talk about it space anyway yeah um so as you can tell by the thumbnail by the title by the everything of this video this is going to be our Eric Nam uh, episode two of our concert vlog series. Um, this is Eric Nam in Austin. He wrapped up his North American tour with us, with and us. it was a sold out show. It was seventeen hundred people, and you could feel it in the venue. There, it was. I will say it was good energy all the way through. It was, it was. great. Uh, however, very tightly packed, mm. and um, I think. I think Libby and I have determined that we are too old for GA concerts. Um, we're still going to go. <laughs> Don't get us wrong. Like, we're not... We're doing it live. Yeah. But uh, definitely being packed in next to people mm. who do not let you have any kind of breathing room, who don't let you have any room to readjust your body, and then... Some of them also weren't even really participating. Why are you that close to the stage if you weren't even going to participate? Move out of the way. I need some breathing room. Dang. Anyways, personal gripes aside with that, which is has everything to do with the population I live in and nothing right. to do with the show content right. itself, right. Nam did an amazing job. Eric Phenomenal. did so good. The band... The band really carried the energy. Audrey. Audrey yeah. Mika. She is phenomenal. She is so Aww. cute. Amazing personality. She really definitely Hype. set the tone for the concert in oh. such a positive way. She did great. Because at that point, I'm going to be honest, uh, we were already inside the venue for close to an hour. And that doesn't count how long we were in line outside beforehand. Correct. Standing and sitting in uncomfortable positions. And so everyone at that point is a little like agitated. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Let's start this. Uh, but she definitely changed our mood for the better mm -hmm. and definitely was a mood maker before Eric went on, which is exactly what an opening act is supposed to do. And yes. honestly, she is phenomenally talented She's and so deserves good. her own stage outside of being, a opener. of being an opening act. Mm -hmm. She was so great. She was fantastic. Um, we are filming this here at our home setup because we didn't get a chance to film um while in line while in line or, or on the way there yeah we it was just a different um experience than going to want us yeah we we didn't travel for this one yeah it was in we, our city we yeah we were home we were local we it was just different so we didn't get a chance to film the way we normally did um so that was that's why we're kind of filming this intro here um, and giving you guys our feedback the way we would have for other concerts and will for other concerts. Yes. Um, but yeah, it was fantastic. We had, I cried, <laughs> openly admitting that. Um, I was not prepared for him to sing Love Die Young and that song hit me in the feelings 
It's a song I think about my husband whenever I hear it, and uh, I heard it live from Eric's own face, and um, it hit me in the gut. And yeah. it was a beautiful song, and I, at the time, I hadn't seen my husband for a few days. He was out of town, and so it was just every emotion at once came to my eyeballs and came down my face. And it's a great experience. It was a great experience. The band was both, so good. Both bands. Both bands. Both Audrey bands. Mika's drummer was, was so, so good. good. Audrey Mika was so good. Um, love her. I knew, and I already knew of her before when I found out she was going to be the opener. I was really excited. Um, so to hear her live and to see her energy live. And just to hear, she has a beautiful vocal fry. If you've never mm -hmm. heard her vo uh, her songs or her voice, she has a beautiful vocal fry that just gives her such grit when she sings. Yes. Chef's kiss. Eric's band had such great energy. Yes. Guitar. And the dancers. Oh my god, the dancers oh. were. I they were so went, good. I wanted to go to like a bar or something yes. afterwards. Like dancers, let's just hang out, y'all. They. They had the best expressions. They did. Such great energy. They were so stoked. They were and you singing know what? along with Eric. Yes, the so whole, was the band. Yeah, the whole band. It was just such a great... You could tell it was like a family, yeah. like, like traveling together. Band. It was yeah. so nice to see. I love seeing stuff yeah. like that. And shout out to some of the signs that were there. Of Cannot. course, uh, a really big props and love to the people who did the blow up faces of the dancers. I love so that funny. so much. Also, uh, big props to uh, the woman who made some light up hats for Eric Nam and his group. Lorena, Lorena. we love you. Yes. Uh, she was, look, She if y'all don't follow her, I'm going to link her below. You should definitely okay. check her out. Shout She's out to her. great content creator. She's for fantastic. Goods. She's, She's got some cute stuff. Fantastic. She makes these really cute headbands. So concert season's back with K-pop. Y'all, please go check her out. Get some get some goodies. Get some goods, y'all. She makes these adorable headbands. She made some... I, we'd seen some of her work at the Oneus concert. Mm -hmm. Some people had some headbands that she had uh, made. And they purchased from her. So cute. So, yes. so cute. And I already have quality. three or four that I've like bookmarked yes. for later purchases. Yes. Seriously, please follow her. Please check her out. Also follow her Twitter because she posts such cute little insights, especially when she's at concerts. Mm -hmm. Like when we were, because we also obviously were, she was at Eric Nam and she made them some custom uh, cowboy hats with their names on them when they lit up on the brim. They were really, really cute. I love it. And I love um, it. she posted in the front that, because uh, she was towards the front of the door and Eric, I guess, like popped his head out or something. We heard screaming because we were further down on the other side of the building and we were like, what's going on? And then I checked Twitter while we were waiting and I'd seen her tweet and I was like, oh, well, that's why we heard screaming. That makes sense. Speaking <laughs> of the line, I honestly wish we had thought about oh, getting true. a walkthrough video of it. Because That's the line true. That's very was true. wild. It was, I wish I could show you how mm. big the building is, like the building strip that it's in, the strip center yeah. with other buildings attached to the venue mm -hmm. that we were at. It was wrapped not only around the front and the side, down the entire back strip of this, down the parking lot. And around. Around the other side of the building and down part of the street. It was People showed up for Eric Nam, Texas. Loves Eric Nam. And you know what? Understandable. I was there too. We were there. Obviously, we feel the same. Uh, but we we really tried to show out. And um, knowing that it was his last leg of the American, North American tour makes that a little bit more special. And it was a really very cute. Yeah. And I think it was actually a really sentimental, emotional day. Um, I he hope got a cake. He did get a cake. Audrey brought out a cake. It said, Step on me. <laughs> yes. Was, I love that for us and for him. Um, I just, I was really, he does, I, I, I hope y'all go follow um, his tour vlogs that he's been posting. He does, pardon that, um, he does these really cute, like, um, as he describes his best British Bake Off voice where he gets into the camera and then he announces the city. And uh, 
he he <laughs> got caught off guard by one of the audience members and he kind of laughed. I, I sincerely hope he keeps that in the vlog when Me that one goes live. Too. Because it was really a good moment. Like, also, you could see the pause in his body as he doubled over and laughed. Like, he was like, I don't know how I to, don't respond. Want to respond. I want to see what his face looked like. Also, he is very funny if you don't know that yes, already. And it's his hilarious. Comedy, uh, hilarious. stand up comedian aspect of the show was very funny. So good. Also, sorry to Tina for Team your first Team Tina. Team Tina. Sorry. I. Look. It was it Ada Maris? I think it was Ada Maris. Ada Maris is her real name, but Eric had a bit of a struggle uh, getting her name right. We know you. We saw you. We yes. heard you, Ada. And, and congrats to the real Tina, who Eric helped get ask a date. out someone for you for a date. So congrats. congrats. It was Team Tina all night, y'all. Team Tina. That's what I hashtagged my post as when I... Hashtag Team Tina. I made my my uh, my uh, my Austin Eric Nam post. That's cute. You know, Team Tina. Team Tina. Hashtag Team Tina. You gotta, you gotta rep Tina, right? We had two Tinas that got honored. Yes. You gotta uh, rep Tina. It's Brittany, bitch. Also, I just gotta say, um, like I did with What Us, and like I will do with every concert vlog. Correct. Um, that we post, I will have no audio uh from the concert and i will have the tracks uh, not posted in the order that they were played i don't want to ruin any set lists for anybody um even though he has been mixing it up he he's been mixing it up and i'm sure most artists at this point maybe will i just don't want to have that potential of ruining it for anybody yeah also um Obviously, the North American leg is done, but he still has Europe, and he still has um, Australia, Australia and other places he's visiting. So I just don't want to potentially ruin it for anybody else. Agreed. So the only thing I will say in regards to other than Love Die Young, which I hope, honestly, genuinely hope y'all get to hear that live too because it was beautiful, Wildfire, ha I'm literally just saying the name and remembering that experience has me ha with, with goosebumps. Wildfire Live, y'all, was magical. It was it was really, really Oof. excellent. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. Eric, I will say You did the damn thing. <laughs> I will say also, uh, as I'm sure we're going to with every video, because we uh, recognize the work of everyone involved. Yes. Thank you not only to the band, as we mentioned earlier, and the dancers. Thank you to the venue yes. for hosting it. Thank you to all the tour managers and the tour personnel that goes out and yes. helps these artists nail everything yes. and give us fans an enjoyable experience. Uh, Eric did thank them he at did. the show. He did. Uh, we're going to go ahead and also thank them separately 100%. because real recognizes real. Thank yes. you for that. Seriously. Thank you to everyone. None of that can happen if y'all aren't there making sure everything flows correctly behind the scenes. Correct. So all your sleepless nights and all the stress that you go under and your raised blood pressure. Yes. Thank please, you. Please know that we don't take advantage of it. And we Correct. we acknowledge it and we appreciate it. And every from everyone from the, the bus drivers mm -hmm. to the caterers to the setup roadies to the band to the crew to the managers to every single person, no matter how big or small your role is, we sincerely thank you and appreciate you. Because without y'all, these concert experiences, yeah. what these show? memories... What show happens? We would never have been able to experience it. We never would have been able to see these performers live and Correct. experience this music that's so important to us and so dear to us live. Um, so we are just so genuinely thankful that you're allowing us to have this access. Correct. So thank you so much. Yes, thank you very much. It means a lot. It does. It, it's, it's very important. Because these are memories that I know... Um, I will, I will cherish and I will take with me for, for a very long time throughout my life. So, yes, correct. Yeah. So without further ado, we're gonna just roll on into the concert footage. So, enjoy, guys. <laughs> 